Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Grammy's Nature Nugget. So glad you're here today. Come on up, Mark, Tiffany, Christian, Claire. Come on up and sit on Grammy's quilt. Today's creature that we're going to talk about is a bird. And it's there's a American League baseball team named after it. Does anybody know anything about baseball? Mark, I heard you say it. Baltimore Oriole. Good job. Baltimore Oriole is the bird that we're going to talk about today. And it is a songbird which has beautiful orange chest and black head and a white, with white and black on its tail. It's named after um, Lord Baltimore's family. It had that same orange and black in its emblem. Um, Baltimore Orioles live up to 12 years. And that this particular bird, the Baltimore Oriole, is the state bird of Maryland. It's very interesting. They are amazing craftsmen when it comes to weaving a nest. And today I brought something so special. I brought a real Baltimore Oriole nest. When we lived in Maryland, lots and lots of years ago, um, we, in the, win in the summertime, found an abandoned nest, and it's an Oriole's nest. Look at how different it is than the other nests. And so cleverly woven. It's like a bottle. Do you see how it goes like that? And I am convinced that if I had a whole month to build this nest with nothing but grass and twigs and hair and anything I could find, I could not, with just my mouth, weave this beautiful nest. This is so beautiful. The bird goes in right there, and they live in the bottom of this nest. So the nest is attached right here on both sides in a tree. They are, this is a piece of artwork, and there is little feathers, there is uh, twigs, and all kinds of cotton that they own. Here's a piece of paper, here's a big feather, and how about that? Can you see that? That is a straw package all woven together. It's amazing. God made the Baltimore Oriole so wonderful. So that I found, it's from Maryland, it's real, and someday I'll show you in person. Baltimore Orioles, um, it, that nest, by the way, reminds me of the Ten Commandments. It's built so that you're protected and you will not fall out. Or when the winds start blowing and the storms come, you're inside there in the safety net. And that's like the commandments of God are. They're a safety net for us. So I also brought a coloring sheet today. It says, God made the Baltimore Oriole. So we're going to color this eye dark brown. And the head is black. The, the beak is kind of a grayish white. And these feathers are black and white with this gorgeous, beautiful, bright orange chest. And then the black tail. He's a beautiful bird and so very intelligent. Takes him seven, four to seven days to build that beautiful nest. When you're done with that picture, it should look like something like this. Yes, isn't that beautiful? Shows the black head and the orange, brilliant orange chest and the black and white wings. It's a beautiful, beautiful bird. And it has a lovely song too. 
Baltimore Orioles lay between three and seven eggs per season, and then they migrate to the tropics. They go on vacation during the winter, and Maryland winters can be quite cold, so it's a good thing. They are six and a half to eight inches long, that's not very long, and they weigh between one to a one and a half ounces. That is a small bird. It's smaller than a robin. And they have this grayish white beak. God made the Baltimore Oriole and he made them with an amazing skill to weave that beautiful nest. So let's thank God today for this beautiful Oriole's nest and for the Orioles that made it. Let's pray together. Father in heaven, thank you so much for the Baltimore Oriole. What amazing bird and what a beautiful song it sings. Thank you for what a master weaver you have put in its brain to do for its family, to protect them from the storms of life. Thank you, Lord, it's so like you and so like the Ten Commandments that you have given us to protect each one of us. Thank you, God. I pray that you'll bless each child listening today. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks so much for being here today. See you next time. Bye.